Hello everyone, this is Diane. It is nighttime, it's almost 10 o'clock, but I want to video this little book that I just completed because I'm going to give it to my granddaughter tomorrow. I made this for her a long time ago, um, but I never finished putting the recipes and stuff in it, so I wanted to give it to her for graduation along with her other graduation gifts from me, but I thought it was about time she had this. She's graduating high school tomorrow, and I just want to give this to her. So it is basically a recipe mini album, and it is bound with my Bind It All, and it was made with just some uh, chipboard that I covered in scrapbook paper. This was from a Bow Bunny collection. I don't remember the name of it. I made this quite a few years ago and I cut some of the pieces out with um, Cricut. So that's the cover, and then on the inside, the, the reason I made this book was because Monica used to love to bake with me. And so we did a lot of baking, and we have a lot of pictures of us baking together, and even some with her dad and, and her papa, my husband. And, um, I included those pictures plus the recipes that go with those pictures and other recipes that are special to our family. So I um, I thought it was a good time to give it to her. So I have a little note in here I wrote on this large index card. And here is a picture of her mashing. I think it's bananas. I think we must be making banana bread. So she's mashing bananas in there. And I have a recipe for banana bread. So these pages, I saw a video. I have no idea who or I wouldn't be able to find the video again because, like I said, it's been a long time um, since I made this. And But it's a one sheet of 12, 12 by 12 paper and you cut it a certain way and fold it a certain way and you end up with this page. This is one 12 by 12 page, double sided and you end up with a pocket here, a pocket here, and a pocket here. So it's really cool. And then I made large cards that I could put into the big pockets. So this is one of the large cards and we're making macaroni and cheese. And it's got a little pocket on the back so I could put another recipe in there. It's a recipe for waffles, which I don't have a picture to go with that, but it's a recipe that I use a lot and that she ate with us. Uh, here she is putting Hershey Kisses in the peanut butter cookies. So I have the recipe for peanut butter kiss cookies. Here she is just licking the beaters off the icing. So we have all ages of her in here. Little Cute, adorable Monica, and then getting bigger. Um, there's a recipe for frosting, butter frosting. So some of these um, things were cut with my Cricut. Some were pieces from that Bow Bunny collection. Uh, I just have all kinds of things in here. There are some stickers. There she is, frosting cookies with her dad. And my, my husband is in the background there. And there's a recipe, and there's her and I frosting cookies and on, on another day. She's a little bit bigger there. And I have the recipe for the sugar cookies. I have to make sure, oh yeah, this is the, the icing. So that's the icing we put on the sugar cookies. And the sticker says quality time. And this was a funny day. We made an apple pie. Look at that gorgeous little girl. So I had the apple peeler core slicer from Pampered Chef and she was turning the crank and she had so much fun turning the crank to peel the apples. And so I have the recipe for the apple pie, the homemade pie crust. That's just a printable that I stuck in there for fun. I wrote about the day because after we put the pie together, there it is. Then she took every little scrap of pie crust dough and laid it on top of the pie. It was not done until all of those pie crust scraps were sitting on top of the pie. <laughs> so 
So I had to take them off when she wasn't looking before I put it in the oven. <laughs> and in there, um, just a recipe for coconut macaroons. I have room for more recipes, but on the back I used um, my Cricut to make this little rolling pin, and it's kind of a belly band. Baking powder biscuits. I, I um, use my Cricut to make this little beater mixer. There she is pretending to eat a great big spoonful of chocolate chip cookie dough. She's getting bigger there. Uh, I guess it's oatmeal cookie dough. This is my famous oatmeal cookie recipe. Well, that's what it's called, famous oatmeal cookies. But we put chocolate chips in it. And in here, I have another pocket. It has Crispix mix in it and Buckeyes. There she is with her papa. I think we're making no-bake cookies. They're, they've got oatmeal, so it's either no-bake cookies or oatmeal cookies. And she's stirring some brownie batter there. And this is a recipe for brownies. Some rests, just some pictures of her She's making cupcakes there. Recipe for fudge, and oh, this goes over here. It's the peanut butter frosting recipe because we like to put peanut butter frosting on the brownies. That's her dad's favorite. He doesn't like cake, but he likes that um, brownies with peanut butter frosting for his birthday. And there she is enjoying a sugar cookie. We're doing something with ground beef there. And I've got the recipe in front of me, but I don't remember what it was. And I have a recipe for homemade peppermint patties and seven minute frosting. She loves um, coconut cake that I make, a layer cake with the seven minute frosting on it. We're stirring the no-bake cookies on the stove. And she's using two spoons to stir up whatever we have going on there. And I used an apron that I cut from my Cricut and tucked this in. It says, I make two kinds of no-bake cookies, chocolate, Papa's favorite, and chocolate peanut butter. Both recipes are in this folder. So here's the folder, and I put the chocolate no-bake cookies and the chocolate peanut butter no-bake cookies and all of these elements were cut with the Cricut. I could have written another recipe there. Um, this lady was cut with my Cricut and here's another card that's got a pocket on the side. A family who bakes together stays together. And there we are mixing up something. Don't know what that is. Probably cookie dough. And there's a recipe for chocolate chip cookies. And stir and drop sugar cookies. This little pot holder and mitt were from my Cricut. This was a Thanksgiving day. We're making um, crescent rolls. This is my recipe for butter crescent rolls. I just made a copy of it because I didn't feel like writing all of that out. You can see all the stains from where I've used this recipe over the years. And I wrote a little note there that says delicious. I just made a copy of my recipe to put in her in her book. So we were go going to my sister's house for Thanksgiving dinner, but <clears throat> we had time to make those rolls first. So I wrote about that day. Tucked it in there for her. And then on the last page, she's just rolling out some cookie dough or something there. And then I just have a, a bunch. I could have written a lot more recipes, but I kind of ran out of recipes that, that I used to make, you know, with her and that she used to eat with us. <clears throat> Chocolate peanut butter fudge. I don't even know if she ever had that with us. Some, a different kind of roll, butter rolls. 
my dad's barbecue sauce for chicken. That's all I put on that. And she can add recipes to it if she wants to. Or she can say, hey grandma, what about something? And I can say, oh yeah, let me get that for you and we can add that. <laughs> I don't know if she'll remember anything else. But that's just a quick little video to show this to you and also so I can have a record of it before I uh, wrap it up and give it to her. So I hope you enjoyed seeing that. Uh, I have no idea if I could recreate these pages, but I could maybe, maybe give it a try. But I don't know if I could because I'm going to be giving this to her and I won't have it as a reference. So I don't know if I'd be able to help you learn how to make that. Because <laughs> I don't know if I could recreate it after so long. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and um, yeah. It's a good idea to make a little recipe book of some kind of junk journal recipe with your favorite recipes to hand down to your children and grandchildren. So that's something to think about. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.